Okay, so Alexis is going to start working on Kate's hair. Um, she, Kate has already brushed her hair out to get any knots out. Alexis is putting the towel around her shoulders just to keep all of the hairspray and product off of her clothes. Uh, again, not a necessity, but it's just helpful to protect your clothing. So she's sectioning out the hair now. Um, we do need a center part for the angel curls. For the party girl and doll curls, if, can we just show that yeah. real quick? Um, you do need a half up. And again, it's a matter of how much hair your child has. Because we need the curl in the back, um, if you have a child with not super thick hair, you may want to just do a small half up. Um, whereas, if you have a child with thicker hair, you can pull more up in the front, obviously. So if you're doing the party girl or doll curls, you do your half up first. Sort of that sort of half up. Okay? So she would just get those bumps out and then put her, her elastic her right in the back there. Go back to her center part because we're focusing on angel curls for today. Party girl and doll curls are the same thing except for that half up beginning. And sections the hair exactly in half. Because Kate's hair is pretty thin, I usually just use clips. A lot of people use elastics. So you can see she has two different size curlers here. The pink are slightly larger than the blue. And again, that's something you'll need to figure out um, depending on how much hair your child has and the length of their hair. If you have shorter hair, um, generally the smaller curlers are going to work better because otherwise you're not going to have enough hair to get a ringlet out of it. So you'll see Alexis has the end paper there. She sprayed from the top to the bottom of the hair, brought the, the end paper with her to the end. That will help keep the end. Um, let me see if I can just zoom in there a sec, Alexis. So you can see how she's rolling the hair around the curler, making sure that end is flat. But it's not too tight. I don't want right, it. not too tight because it will actually crimp the foam roller. So you're just looking for a uniform strip all the way up. You'll notice she's curling the hair away from her face on that side and then pulling the clip of the roller over and holding it tight. And she's going to go to the next section. But Kate just handed her the new paper and the hot set. So again, she's spraying enough to coat the hair but not to wet it completely. She's folding the paper over at the end, placing the roller, rolling the hair around the curler flat so that it's not crimped at the end and not frizzy at the end of the curl, and then rolling a strip up to the head away from the face. These are the two most important. So you do want to focus your attention on those. Um, also, if you have a child who has very short hair, for the angel crown, um, you can see that Kate's rollers aren't going all the way to the crown of her head, um, and they do not need to. The angel crown that they will wear in the show sits about where that first roller landed on her head, and we don't need curls above that. So you don't need to worry about getting right on the top of the head. So you can see the curlers are kind of standing up and down, sort of vertically on the head. That helps get that ringlet effect. You want um, your sections of the hair to be manageable. If you try to put too much hair on any particular curler, it won't curl. <laughs> For some people, if the curl falls, um, it's always handy to have a curling iron or curling wand with you. Um, so that you can touch up those individual curls if they don't quite take from this process. Sometimes, depending on where the fallen curl is, you can actually bobby pin it into place depending on how much of it is, um, whether it's a curl that's there but just separating from gravity or whether it's um, something that really has completely fallen out altogether. If it's fallen out altogether, you will need to either curling iron or curling wand. There she's now switched to the smaller blue roller just to fit in the space behind 
Kate's ear. If you're doing party girl or doll curls, the smaller ones are most helpful on the um, sort of the ponytail section, the half up section, because you won't have as much hair there and you do still want to have ringlets, so it's helpful to have the smaller curlers there because um, that way you can section off the hair in smaller sections. So you can see she's moving right along here and she almost has half of the head done. If you have a child with a lot of thick hair, you will have to use a lot more curlers um, and it will take a lot more time. And so that's why you really need to practice and figure out how much time you're going to need for your family. We do prefer that your child arrive at Merrill um, in curlers, that hopefully the curling process is done and the drying process is done. The rehearsal hall has about 100 performers, generally 120 to 150 people at any given time, and so it's very noisy. And to then add in the sound of hair dryers is pretty overwhelming. <laughs> um, so if there's any way possible, to have the curlers in and the drying process completed, that is very helpful. Because Kate's head is on the smaller side, I sometimes have to use a blue one just to fit in between all these pink ones. If you notice I'm switching back and forth, that's the reason. Okay, so here we have Kate's right side of her head is done. So I'm just gonna show you the up close of how on her head, because of her um, smaller size, <laughs> she's alternating pinks and blues um, and using blues where she's sort of running out of room along the center there. Um, and you can see how it really does go sort of right along that center part. All of these on this right side have rolled away from her face on the right side of her head. Um, and now Alexis is gonna be in the left side, so now she's rolling the opposite direction. For every single one that's left, it will all be rolled away from the left side of her face. I'll just mention it is helpful to have, um, to be conscious of what you're wearing for clothing at the time of the, the, the rollers go in because you need to be able to get it off without disrupting the curlers. So something like a wrap dress or a wrap shirt, something that's a zip, um, a button down, those sorts of things where they don't have to go up and over your head are a good idea. And you can see now she's rolling towards the back of her head again, but in the opposite direction she did on the other side. And we'll just show you a couple of the first ones, because again, those ones in front are sort of the most the important. Pin. I'm just going to tuck a bobby pin in this one just to hold it a little bit tighter. You can see that there. You may have noticed that when Alexis pulls the clip up onto the roller, sometimes she goes towards the front and sometimes she goes to the back. That's just a function of whichever one is going to make it tightest. <laughs> Whatever's going to hold the curl closest to the head um, and keep that ringlet intact is what you're looking for. It doesn't matter which direction you go when you clip it. And again, not too tight on the foam rollers. You don't want to crush the foam. Okay, so we're going to finish rolling there and then we'll talk you through the next step.